What's up, you crazy carnies, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I've got a really funky weird one for you. It is Christopher Spieth's 1973. It is his strange and unusual flick, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. And this one is hard to describe, so I'm just going to get right into it. Guys, here is... Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. Malatesta's Carnival of Blood is a fantastically weird and profusely surreal and haunting 70s horror oddity. With a hefty abundance of otherworldly demented atmosphere and an eerie quality that feels straight out of a nightmarish fever dream. Filled with ghastly wonder and consumed with foreboding terror. This frighteningly strange production boasts a bizarre, tangible quality that soaks into every frame of this unorthodox tale. Confusing, chaotic, and completely compelling in style and substance, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood is a delightfully weird cinematic experience, and it's one that you won't soon forget. The film follows a family centered on a shy and innocent young woman named Vina who take a job at a sinister carnival amusement park in order to find the whereabouts of Vina's missing brother and his strange disappearance around the park's grounds. Run by business manager Mr. Blood, an eccentric oddball of a man, and owned by the mysterious and elusive Malatesta, the family comes to find that there's more to this bizarre carnival than first meets the eye, and that dangers lie around every corner of this warped amusement park. As they delve deeper and deeper into the labyrinth-like world of the devilish carnival, they realize that there are some things much more worse than death, and Malatesta's Carnival of Blood is one of those unspeakable things. With an overabundance of character and unusual charm, the cast of Carnival of Blood is a who's who freak show of sorts, with wild and weird characters coming out of the woodwork, and with splendidly entertaining and deranged results. From freaky carnies to undead ghouls, the production is jam-packed with wacky figureheads and psychotic personalities that it's almost impossible not to get swept up in the untamed performances and mind-altering mayhem of the picture. Wickedly obtuse and altogether unforgettable, the heavy hitters and creepy freaks of this batshit crazy nightmare of a flick are Janine Carrazzo as Vina Norris the terribly shy and wholly innocent young girl who falls into a never-ending nightmare of terror. Jerome Dempsey as Mr. Blood, the bizarre business manager of the carnival and ghoulish creature of the night. Paul Hostetler as Mr. Norris, Vina's revenge-seeking father and carny hunter. William Preston as Sticker, the creep-tastic janitor of the carnival and complete homicidal maniac. Betsy Hen as Mrs. Norris, Vina's loving mother and entirely freaked out parental guardian. Her Villachave as Bobo, Malatesta's pint-sized servant and larger-than-life pain in the ass. Lenny Baker as Sonia, a cross-dressing fortune teller who's as wicked as they come. And last but definitely not least is Daniel Dietrich as Malatesta, the head psycho of the carnival and master to a den of ghouls. As odd as the flick itself, the cast of Carnival of Blood fit right in with the morbid material, and they all do a fantastic job in bringing on the weird of the picture and emphasizing the bizarre nature of the entire proceedings. Nightmarishly unusual and completely all-in when it comes to surreal atmospheric visual freak show panache, 
Malatesta's Carnival of Blood is a wicked masterpiece of strange cinema, and its overwhelmingly weird style and starkly unsettling imagery is something to truly behold. There's an uncontrollable quality to the picture that just can't be denied, and the whole flow of the story is off-kilter, unhinged, and insanely unpredictable. Completely feverish when it comes to grotesque violence and eerie visuals. The film paints a wild picture of nightmarish scenarios and dreamlike sequences that all meld together into an unabashed blood-curdling experience. The use of the amusement park and its labyrinth-like underbelly is superb in its demented qualities, and the filmmakers leave no stone unturned in milking these locations for all they are worth. The carnival alone is a character unto itself, and the creepiness of the sets and architecture of the behind-the-scenes locales of the amusement park rides are extremely haunting and without a doubt unforgettable in their foreboding look and off-putting feel. There's not too many films which have this kind of uniquely haunting tone and atmosphere that this picture has. With a hefty helping of Carnival of Souls atmosphere, a pinch of character weirdness from Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, and the uncompromisingly cruel disposition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and you have a wild concoction that is probably the best way to describe this insanely surreal cinematic effort. If you love oddball 70s cinema that truly has a voice and style all of its own, then you should drop everything you're doing and watch this mind-bogglingly weird flick as soon as possible. In the end, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood is an absolutely weird and wild cinematic gem. And there you have it, freak shows. That is the crazy, bizarre, and totally warped and lunatic-loving flick. That is Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. Whew. It's probably going to be a hard pill to swallow for some people and not their cup of tea, but um, I love this film. I think the atmosphere is amazing. I think the dreamlike quality of the whole thing is awesome and bizarre, and just the feel and tone of the movie is unique to say the least. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.